Welcome YouTubers to Diecast Culture Media and to another What's in the Box, this time outdoors. And the first vehicle in this box is a Skylark Wagoneer and this is a Matchbox series number 42 um, Studio Baker Lark Wagoneer. And this is uh, between 1963 and 1966. This particular model had a sliding roof. Some of the Lark wagons had a third row of seats facing backwards, so you could have a couple of kids in the back, say, and it would be quite pleasant for them to uh, push the roof forwards. Um, the roof also had quite a few technical issues in terms of leaking, uh, which they never really overcame and they then, uh, I think, uh, at some point abandoned the idea and went, went back to the, the uh, fixed roof, non-sliding version. And you can just see the word Studebaker very finely um, cast on the back panel. And um, uh, also what you can't necessarily see so well is, uh, well, you can see the rear lights, so at the corners between the window and the back panel that comes down. So these uh, lights, um, I guess, would look better if they're painted red. This is a Majorette. And on the base, um, made in France, as usual, um, Volkswagen 1302, so that's 1302cc, 1 1.3 litre engine and the scale, uh, or SL in French, is 1 to 60. And I remember buying this when I was a kid, all those years ago. And um, what I like about Matchbox, uh, sorry, uh, Majorette, is the, uh, the squashy suspension. That's just really cool, um, I like that. Um, sort of impulse buy, if you like. If you like, it was at a, uh, a small museum and um, saw this in the museum shop and I just thought yeah I'll get that. Um, I believe it's a Welly, oh no it's a Kinsmart. Um, yeah I, I just love the way this looks, I think it's great. Here we go, another Majorette. This time it's a Datsun 240Z, Fair Lady. Uh, the 240 I believe is the engine size so 2.4 litre. And um, I think somebody said that this was tr they attempted to model this on the E-Type Jaguar. Um, I mean, you can appreciate it's got a long bonnet, and uh, the people driving it sit well back, quite close to the the rear axle. And uh, again, this is another one that I bought when I was a kid. Opening doors. And. Um, 1 to 60 scale. Oh, this is a 260Z, so uh, 2.6 litre, I suppose. E type Jag. Um, cannot recall where I found this one, but it was in a either in a collector shop, um, antiques collector shop, or a car boot fair. Um, Siku, and I just thought, Siku, and it's an E-Type Jag, I've got to have it. Um, really nice find, and on the base, um, this um, sets itself in history, if you like, so it's made in West Germany, uh, before East and West Germany were unified, and um, this is described as a Jaguar E-Type 2 plus 2, or 2.2, 2 plus 2, I think, Siku. Um, this really is a lovely model. Obviously the condition isn't so lovely now, but I think that's part of its charm. And these doors are just so tiny. Just such classic lines. Really beautiful. And in fact, my neighbor has a red E-Type Jag, a real one. 
Um, maybe at some point I will take the camera over and you can have a quick glance at it. Although I think it's under a cover, so it doesn't look, you can't really see it at the moment. This is a Mercury Sable Wagon, um, 1987, and this was a typical style of car in the 80s. Um, I think it's quite similar to the Ford Sierra. I'm not sure what the Ford Sierra was called in the US, but um, very similar with sort of rounded edges, a bit like a, a jelly mold. And uh, this is Matchbox. Um, squashy suspension nicely made and uh, opening feature albeit the the boot is um, plastic it would have been nice if it's made of metal but I guess you can't have everything so mercury sable wagon Well, just trying to get this to focus. Okay, and uh, this one has been in one of my videos before, um, the Dodge Charger. And um, this one is, um, made by Racing Champions. And uh, again, another charity shop find. It's, it's really good looking um, model actually, and nice, it's got an opening feature, so. A detailed engine there and um, uh, really nice detailed interior not sure if this camera is going to pick that up yeah maybe just a fraction you can't really see it um, yeah and it, it, it has a really good stance uh, as a model it sits really low low line Typical 19, early 80s, late 70s, early 80s America, station wagon. Um, they kind of had, I think they had quite sort of short wheel bases maybe, and um, they really compressed the, uh, the seating area, so to speak. So you've got small doors, um, not much legroom for a car of this enormous size. Um, so now, nowadays, uh, the back doors on cars normally extend over the towards the centre of the wheel arch, uh, as does the, the pillar, to provide more space when you get in the back. And um, huge boot. So I've still got a green one of these, which I bought when I was a kid. And I found this one, yet again, at a car boot fair. A really nice solid piece of die cast metal base and um, this is a Kurgar Villager made in England 1978 Lesney products so yeah really nice casting